Philly here, Hippie Mama Artisan Soap. I'm making a soap um, now centered in Dragon's Blood from Aroma. I've already got my batter ready here. Now this um, fragrance oil does uh, accelerate trace quite a lot and it also um, discolors. So I'm going to section off the portion that I don't want to discolored so I'm going to have some red and some white and this portion I'm adding some activated charcoal to a bit less than a tablespoon there So this is just um, activated charcoal from Aussie Soap Supplies. Okay. So I'll add my fragrance oil now. If I can open it. I love this fragrance. It's really, really nice. It's kind of a hippie fragrance, an incense kind of a fragrance. It's one of my favourites. And I think it's a bit of a love it or hate it fragrance. I know a lot of soapers really dislike the fragrance and other people absolutely love it. So it's kind of like patchouli, I think. You either love it or you don't. make sure it's well stirred in. I've got my mould lined with a barbecue liner which you can get from the reject shop or Bunnings or anything anywhere like that and they're reusable. I'm sick of um, sick of using baking paper and having to having to measure fold and cut every single time. first time I used this fragrance I made the mistake of trying to um, do um, something a little bit complicated and by the time I went back to the black it was set solid in the pot so you can see there already how thick it is I'll put that aside while we get the rest ready. Okay, for the top of my soap, I'm doing some white. And some, I want to get it red. I don't know how close I'll get to red. But I've got some neon red from Bath Bomb World. And I've also got um, bright red mica from Tranquil Scents. So we shall see if we can get a red. See how we go with that. So I blend my white first. Oh 
and then we'll do the hopefully red. More fluoro than I wanted, but I guess you can't have everything. One day I'll work out how to get a really nice red. Or if some of you watching already know the secret and care to share with me, that would be lovely. Oh, there we go, it's kind of a fluorescent red, but you know, that's okay, we can work with that. We'll bring this back and you can see it's already set solid in that short amount of time. So I was going to do an in the pot swirl, but then I thought I'll just um, kind of lay it, put it in like this instead. And you know what I should do? I'll lift this side up and see if that helps. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want it, um, I wanted a bit more defined than what you're sort of getting in, in the pot swirl, so a bit more like a tiger stripe or something. Yes, Bubby? Can you smell the soap? You can smell the soaps, yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. Starting to set up here too. I think it's also because it's it's cold. It's cold here today. And on cold days, my olive oil and all my other oils are set pretty solid when I go to use them. You'll see this already. I'm just going to end up doing a bit of a blobby thing here with what's remaining. Doesn't want to pour anymore. just too cold. Charlie, be quiet! It's my dog, sorry. Just screech at you all. He's a bit of a rat bag sometimes. Charlotte will tell him. Now I'm just going to stop, thump this down on the ground. See if I can get it a bit flatter. Okay, I'll just thump that down on the ground. I've just got my kebab stick. It's really set up. Quickly. I'll um, give that another thump on the ground. Mom. So there we go. Uh -huh. All done. Uh -huh. Top's not overly pretty, but I'm hoping the inside is. Uh -huh. And then, Mommy. hang on a minute, Charlotte, just a second. Mama. I'll show you um, after we cut it, I'll show you what I'm planning on doing with the front of it. We're back to cut the dragon's blood soap. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. 
beautiful. I'm thinking I might need to keep one of these for myself because this is really, I love this fragrance. Wait, don't put her in bed yet. I want to get a picture with everyone. Oh. There we go. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to put a stamp on the front or not. So if I do, I'll be doing that tomorrow and I'll add that to the end of this video. So thank you for watching again.